in the proper place where my beasts are bedded. Eight months now, sir. It is eight months. She used to serve me in my house, sir. A man thinks God sleeps. But God sees everything. I know it now. Sir, I beg you, sir. I beg you. See her for what she is. My wife. My dear, good, good wife. She took the girl soon after, sir. And put her out on the high road. And being what she is, a lump of vanity, sir. <laughs> forgive me, Excellency, forgive me. But she thinks to dance with me on my wife's grave. And well she might. For I thought softly of her. God help me, I lusted. And there's a promise to be made in such sweat. But this is a whore's vengeance. I know you must see it now. I set myself entirely in your hands. I know you must see it now. My wife is innocent. Except, she know a whore when she see one. Thou hast it now, King, Cawdor, Gloms and all. As the weird women promised and I feared. Thou playest most foully fort. Yet it was said that myself shall be the root and father of many kings. If truth comes from them, as upon thee, Macbeth. Their speeches shine. Why may they not be my oracles as well and set me up in hope? But hush, no more. Look to the lady. Let us meet to question this bloody piece of work to know it further. Fears and scruples shake us. In the great hand of God I stand. And thence, against the undervulged pretense, I fight of treasonous malice. 